Welcome everyone, here is how you use the control center in iPhone 14 Pro. So in order to access the control center, you're going to slide down from the far right hand side of the screen, release your finger when you see this control center view. If you slide down from the middle or the far left hand side, you'll be brought to the lock screen. So slide down from the far right hand side and you'll see the control center. So from here, you have these quick toggles. You can tap on them to turn them off or on. You can also slide across the brightness and volume rockers. If you have music playing, you can use these quick controls right here. On top of this, you can long press on some of these toggles and you will have more options, okay? So we have here the airplane mode, mobile data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, personal hotspot. In this menu here, if you long press on the toggles, you'll get a quick option to change the Wi-Fi network, change the Bluetooth. You can also go to the Bluetooth settings. Some toggles you can't long press, such as personal hotspot. You can't long press per, uh, mobile data or airplane mode. You can long press AirDrop to change the AirDrop options. On top of this, we have the music player. If you long press into this one, you have the cover art, you have the volume slider, and you'll have the scrubber so you can change where you are in the song. And if you want to, I'll put the audio to an external speaker uh, or to your iPhone itself. You have the airplay option here. We can change the devices. So you can play your music on, let's say, your computer or your TV or your speaker. On top of this, we have the portrait orientation lock. There is no long press option, just either on or off. You have the screen mirroring. So if you have an Apple TV, you can mirror the screen. You can also mirror it to you know, your computer and any device which supports it. On top of this, we have the focus modes. If you long press, you have all these focus. I have a dedicated tutorial on how to use focus modes uh, just search up how to use focus on iPhone 14 Pro and you'll find that video. You have the flashlight. When you long press, you can change the intensity of the flashlight here. The intensity you set will be saved if you just quickly tap it. The last setting you can see, if I turn this guy on, will be saved to max. Saved. You have the timer here. If you tap into it, Bring straight to the timer app. You have the calculator. If you tap, it opens the app. If you long press, you get extra options. Same with the camera here. You have these quick options, but if you tap on the camera icon, it will open up the camera app itself. Then we have the low power mode and screen recording toggle. But for you, you're not gonna see those options. That's because you can customize what you see in the control center. You do this by opening up the settings app. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see control center. You're gonna see included controls. These are the controls that you have selected you would like to add. And then you have more controls. If you see a control here you would like to add, just tap on the plus and you can see we now have dark mode, for example, in the control center. You also have the lines. You can drag and drop to change the positioning of the controls. You also have the minus. If you tap on the minus, then remove. You can remove the toggle from the control center. So now you can see here I have my dark mode toggle. To quickly turn on or off dark mode. Do keep in mind, you can just long press on the brightness slider and you have the dark mode option here, night shift and true tone. Of course, you have the brightness slider, which works in the regular control center and the expanded view. Finally, you have the volume rocker. If you're connected to Bluetooth headphones, you will have options for your headphones right here. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Support the channel by buying from Amazon using my affiliate link in the description. Bye-bye.